how to test a diode to see if it's good or if it's bad. Uh, first thing you're going to need is a digital multimeter. Make sure your black lead is connected to the common and the red lead is connected to where you see the V and this right here looks like a horseshoe is the ohm sign. And make sure you're on the ohms range with this here pointed at the diode symbol. Next, you connect your leads to the diode by connecting the red lead to the anode, black lead to the cathode, you're going to see a meter reading anywhere from about 500 to 900. Some meters might be 0.5 to 0.9. Now we switch our direction that we're measuring across the diode. And now we shouldn't get any reading at all, meaning the meter should just stay like this without any change. That's how a good diode is, uh, is measured. Now I'm going to simulate what a, uh, a faulty diode would look like. There's three types of fault. The first type of fault would be like a shorted diode. And we're going to use a resistor to simulate this. First, you put your leads across it and see that your meter is reading. So it's reading, oh, down about 400. It's reading this or less, and we switch our leads to go across it again, and it reads the same thing anywhere between that and zero. The other can be considered shorted. Next, we're going to see what an open diode would be like. We would uh, put our leads across it uh, the, with the black on the cathode and red on the anode. And right here, we read 600 before, but this is not changing. So that's showing me that diode is open. I know that diode is defective. I really only need one reading to do that. Uh, next, I'm going to show you what a leaky diode would be. On a leaky diode, I would uh, I got to take two readings. First, I put the black on the cathode, red on the anode. And I read normally what I would have in a good diode, about 600, again, 500 to uh, 1,000 would be good. Now, if I reverse my leads, I would get about the same reading. If, this, if I go across that and this thing here changes at all, it's not now because this is not a leaky diode, it would change something below this number right here. That would be a leaky diode. Thank you.